Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So now you are on a cliff, which happens to be on Venus. The height of the cliff is 100 meters. Gravity on uh, on Venus is this. You're going to shoot a cannonball vertically upwards at 30 meters per second. The uh, the moment after firing the uh, cannonball, you're going to retract this plank here. Okay, so um, so so the cannonball will uh, will travel like this. Hang on. Uh, it will shoot up to its maximum height, and then it will free fall. Uh, well, calculate the um, the displacement uh, of of the can cannonball after ten seconds. So the displacement is uh, is this distance here. So well, calculate the the displacement after ten seconds. Okay. So um, press pause and have a go. Okay. So um, well, jump to your velocity time graph because once you have your velocity time graph, you you get an idea of what's going on here. So, uh, so the next step is to find out the uh, the maximum, the time it takes to get to its maximum height. Okay, so so the, the cannonball will be fired up like this. It will get to its maximum height, and then it will free fall down downwards. Okay, so so calculate this uh, this t max here, just just so that you can get an idea of what's going on. So here's a formula for for this uh, this diagonal line here. Like this, and if if you don't understand this, then watch one of uh, well, watch the earlier videos. Okay, so once you've got your your equation here, um, put zero into this v here, just to find out this point here, t max, the time it takes to get to maximum height. So uh, so put zero into the v, and the the equation now looks like this. You could just leave it leave this as t, but uh, I I like to call it t max just so that it represents this bit here. Okay. Um, now, well, we are putting zero into this v here. So this equation here now looks like this. Okay. So now it's just uh, uh, blah 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 blah. Get to t max here. So you, so this t max here represents the time it takes to get to the maximum height. So now um, now if if you look at the the remember this is our time diagram. So our, this is our time diagram. It takes it takes three Three point uh, sorry, it takes three point three eight seconds to get to its maximum height. So that means the, it's going to free fall for another six point six two seconds. So the question is, what is the distance? Well, if if you look at our our distance diagram, cliff, uh, cliff, our uh, distance. Well, we now need to know the actual distance to get to its maximum height, and then and then we need to know the distance. Um, for the free fall of 6.62 seconds. Okay, so this is our, our time diagram. This is our distance. Well, we need to know distance here. Well, once we have the distance here and the distance here, we can just get this, take away, uh, take away this bit here, and then stick an, a, a minus in front of our answer. That that will give us the displacement here. Okay. So now, now so far we've only got the time here and the time here. It's going to free fall down here. The uh, what to find out the free fall? You you would just jump to this style, uh this formula here. Okay, you you should know this by heart uh, by now. Um, so, but but first we we need to find out the distance it takes uh, the distance to get to maximum height. So let's uh, let's have a look at our our velocity diagram now. This is the same diagram but just more detail here. So this is velocity uh, time diagram. Our velocity initial velocity is this. Well, if if you want to know the maximum height, the maximum height will be given by this area here. So to so find out the the maximum height here, so uh, h max height max will be given by uh, this distance here. Well, this height here. You, you're trying to find out the area here. So it's going to be 30 times the across here, which is uh, this, and then uh, divided by two, um, and then that will give us the max the uh, the, the 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 max the height at the maximum point. Okay. Um, so 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 now um, so now we if, if you look at our our cliff diagram, it the distance now is given by um, by this fifty point uh, seven meters. Okay. Now now um, so hang on. Let, let, let me draw this diagram. So so the the diagram so far looks like this. Hang on. So th this is our cliff, cliff, um, and then it, the distance. Now, now this is our distance diagram. This distance here is 
is given by by this 50 50 point seven meters okay now we need to know the um, the the distance covered by the free fall so so jump to your free fall diagram uh, formula so it's given by this um re remember we are full f free falling for for six point six two seconds so we are free falling from here to here okay basically uh, oh this point here is um, is t the time it, it takes to free fall back to the plank level Okay, this is let's call it T plank. Okay, T plank is a time. So, so when when you fire the cannonball up like this, and then it will free fall. Now that, that T plank is right at this point here. Okay, well, well anyway, you need to know this. Uh, the, the, we, we need to know the the distance of the free fall. The distance of the free fall happens to be the area of this triangle here. Okay, but but let's let's not worry about that. Let's let's just find out. Um, the, the distance of the free fall. So jump to this. Remember, we are now free falling for for a six point. Hang on, this diagram. So so uh, this is fifty point seven meters. We are now free falling for for six point six two seconds. So what what is this distance covered here? So jump to the our uh, free fall dive, uh, free fall formula, and then uh, and then and then uh, uh, and then blur blur. Blah. Uh, so, so the time, so, so uh, the distance of free fall is uh, is given by this here. Okay. So, um, so this is the distance it takes to get to the maximum height. This is the distance covered after falling for for six point six two seconds. So this is the distance covered by the free fall. So if you want to know the displacement, get this, take away this, uh, and then stick a minus in front of it. Uh, so, so basically. It, it it will it will give us this answer here, okay. So 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 that's that's the, that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it, well, quick way of doing it is well once once you jump to your what jump to your jump to your velocity time graph diagram, and then well if if you want to know the displacement, it's just going to be uh, this area add this area, and bear bear in mind that this area here is a negative area. So once once you've got your your velocity time graph. Um, well, if if you want to know the, the displacement after ten seconds, then um, then the, then use a the trapezium rule. Well, the trapezium rule is normally like this: you get this height uh, plus this height divided by two. That will give you the average, and then times it across. Well, even though our, our trapezium is uh, is on the negative side, so so this here, and then you've got the the trapezium on the negative side, it will still work. So get this distance, add this distance here, divided by two, that will give you the average, and then times the across here. Uh, the, the, the trapezium rule still works even if even if this is on the negative side. Okay? Well what well, well you need to know this height here. Well, pretend you didn't have this at the moment. Um you need to know this height here. So what you do, you put the 10 into this formula here. Okay, and then and then that will take you to this point here because because this formula always takes us to all the points on the line. So if you're at, ten, at the 10 second mark, if you put 10 into the T, it will take you to this point here, okay? Which happens to be negative uh, 58.7. So, um, so this, this distance here, so this level here is actually uh, uh, negative 58.7. So now, now use the trapezium rule. Just get this height, okay? Hang on. So, so the trapezium rule is this: get this height here, which is uh, thirty, and then and then add it to this thing here, okay? Which is this, um, and then divide it by two. That will give you the average of the two heights here, and then and then you you times it by the total length here, which happens to be ten seconds. So you times it by ten, uh, which gives you an answer of this. Okay, uh, th this is a more accurate answer than than our previous method. Uh, our previous method, can you see? Our previous method, the displacement is negative four one four three point seven. This is one four three point five. There's a slight difference. That's because that's because um, when we calculated h max, it we rounded it off here, and then we also rounded it off here, and and then and then when when we uh, when we calculated the time here, we rounded it off here. So there's a lot of rounding offs. But um, um, 
learn learn to um, learn to jump to this this method here. Just just find you if you want to know the displacement, it's basically these two areas added together, uh, and then you you just use a trapezium rule to to um, to merge the two areas together. The reason why I showed you the, the long winded route is because I want you to um, to to uh, to to get a picture of what's going on. That's just just to get an idea of what's going on. But learn to to be able to jump to this to this velocity time graph, and then and then and then use a trapezium rule to find out the answer. Okay.